So I definitely think Magic the Gathering is going in a positive direction. I've been very positive about it recently. I think the influencers they have on board. I believe they are working with Pay Money Wubby right now because he's getting cards early to play with. So between the time it takes to film and then the time it takes to make the videos and edit the videos and, and commentary the videos. Uh, yeah, he's definitely getting cards early, I, I believe. Now, what the hell is this? The value booster. So if you guys remember, back in the Odin days, we only had one booster pack. Then we added the collector's booster. Then we had the, what was it called? It was the draft booster that was meant for drafting. The set booster was, was like the cheaper collector's edition. So we went from one booster pack, which I like. That's the Pokemon style, which I think is the best style. Pokemon's definitely not not doing, I mean, Pokemon's doing extremely well. And they only have one booster pack, a set. So they have one booster pack. Magic now has had three booster packs. Then we went down to two booster packs. You remember the draft and the set booster got combined into something called the play booster pack. Now we have free booster packs again. We have something called the value booster pack. What the hell is going on here? Like, what the hell is going on here, guys? This is, uh... I'm really not positive this is the direction we want to head. It's... I know exactly why they did this. It, it's super obvious, guys. Let me, let me explain this to you. The play booster is not cheap. Okay, the play, the draft booster used to be the cheapest booster. In fact, the draft booster was what I would call a normal booster. The play booster is much more expensive than the draft booster. So now they're making a seven pack. Let me read you actually. This is going to be disgusting. At select retailers, you may see a new kind of booster available. While collector boosters are perfect for fans who want all the coolest cards, and play boosters are built to bolster collections by being open to play magic. Value boosters are a smaller, lighter booster. So remember that they were like eco-friendly, right? Nah, they don't give a shit about you call it the. Remember they they did a, um what was that? The Modern Masters 2015. They didn't use the uh, plastic because they went with paper. Whatever happened to that? No man, they're just gonna pump out these mother effers. Lighter boosters that contain a handful of new cards any fan can enjoy. A, quote, budget-friendly way to experience Bloom Burrow. Each value booster contains three commons, two uncommons, a wild card of any variety, could be a common or uncommon, and one card that can be a land, a traditional foil, or a special guest card. I don't know what that means, the special guest part, but my understanding is you could have a pack you could actually probably have multiple packs and there is no rare or mythic, right? I mean, worst case scenario, I'm reading it as four commons, two uncommons, and one land. Worst case scenario. My God, inflation must be rough. This is, uh, <laughs> how can I say this? This is very sad, guys. This is a very sad state. They understand. So, I mean, they get it, right? The play booster is too expensive for most people because it's really a set booster. You know? I mean, it's, uh, the draft boosters are a lot better. But we don't got no draft booster. So this basically is the draft booster. Except you get one third as many cards and not a rare. It's, it's uh... Yikes, guys. <laughs> 